Hey, what is going on guys, and welcome to my first tutorial on this channel. This was highly requested by my friend to do, and thank you guys how I, or people, make a text. And normally they call it MLab text because it is kind of look like the same as MLab. Um, Pixel Lab, this is what I use a lot, and what I pretty much do is I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be probably just only I don't do like the text together like this because whenever like I make a text hold on let me just let me just give me an example guys um so I go to the font on AB and I press the A don't worry and I scroll down I'm gonna use otaku rant bold so yeah look this is what happens it's spacey and I really hate like space like this I just don't like it pretty much so I have to like do it every each so anyway um, this is the text size over here uh, with a T. You, this is the size pretty much where you can customize it. If you want bigger or smaller. I don't know who would use small, but yeah, I guess. We're going to put it on 112. And in order to fix that, if you want to like not be that and just, you know, I want to I, I want to do like a little bit of space in it. Like I just wanted to like, you know, stick them together a bit. That's what I was supposed to say. I pretty much copy the yeah, outline and then just rename it to X. I already did the E. So, yeah, uh, so there you go. And I uh, just put them together really closely. Not that really sticking together, but like a little bit like space in it, as I said. And then you go copy the T because the text has double T. There you go. And I want to go, you know what, we're going to put it on 50 because there's not much in it. The thumbnail that I made, it's also the same thing as this. So I'm going to, you know, 100% <laughs> put it as exactly the same as the thumbnail, the text thumbnail that I made. This is what I've been using for a while on thumbnails because, I don't know, I just love, I just love it. It's clear, it's jumbo, something if you want to call it. Anyway, moving on. There you go, there's my text. I want to add a little bit more to it, so I'm going to copy, and then probably just write in, yo, text, there you go. Or I can say your text. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, so we put that, and you have to keep doing that together, you know. And also, don't forget to, um, you know, uh, put them in the right, like, you know, exact line, because if you do this, then I don't know but I think I like it like that sometimes I do that but I usually do it in a straight line I don't know that's how I do it so yeah and also uh, you don't have to stick them yet together you'll do that on the Photoshop so yeah just you know spread them apart and then do this and then, you know make sure that they're intact and there you go um, Bam. There you go. Alright. Um, if you want to make the um, the background um, transparent, you just go here at the bottom. You go to the end that has two squares in it, and then you press transparent, and there you go. Nice and simple. Click this, and then export the image. Don't forget to put it on P PNG, because, you know, that's the only way you can have transparent backgrounds. And yeah. So now we are on Photoshop Touch, and all you have to do is pretty much you start like this. Um, yeah, I already made the thumbnail. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna show you the thumbnail. It's probably how I make. So, pretty much, this is my thumbnail. I didn't use any, like, CC or light pack at the top. You can see here. Um, and, oh. Oh, no, no. This is the same, like, font th that I made from Pixel Lab. And this is what I'm going to teach you guys right now. So let's just go back, I guess. So you press the plus button at the bottom. And it'll show you this. New blank pro project set the size on the, of the canvas. So we're going to put it on 1280 to 720. Usually that's what I use. Or that's how big is the thumbnail. And then it'll show you this blank. Let's go start. So pretty much you press the, uh, the image with the plus at the top. And then... You click, you pretty much click that, and then it'll bring you to the local page stuff. You go to Pixel Lab, 
and then you go your text, the one that you made on Pixel Lab, and then and then bada bing bada boom, and then it will show you like this. So all you have to do, if you want to make it bigger or if you want to leave it like that, then you can just press the check button. But I'm gonna make it as much big as I can. Yeah, that's perfect. So you just press the tick button, and there you go. You can just um. So as you can see here on the um right side uh are the, the layers so pretty much you have you start with a blank and then your layer right here that you want that you put all you have to do with the blank layer is just the square thing and then you press delete button and i'll delete that now if you want to like i want to separate these two and in order to do that is you need to hold the white with the paintbrush in it and then scroll down to the box and then drag and then hold onto your blank page and then drag it to where it highlights the entire your texting <laughs> makes sense after all right anyway there you go so you since so you highlight the font or you call it text the entire text and then press the pencil or the pen press cut and then paste and that should give you a new layer for you for that type of text. There you go. Your so like you can you know just press this plus button, then create two empty layers. There you go. And then go back to the layer where it says the your and then go here and then select pixels and that should highlight all of them. And then now you go to the other layer, oh wait no, you don't, you just stay like there, stay right there, you go to the end sign, go to gradient, and then, oh oops, and then you can pick anything here, but don't pick that because that's only for designs, you click that, and I think I already created this, but if you want to like, you know, fix this or something, or create some, you can do this, you know, Yeah, that should be cool. There you go. There's your new gradient. And then you go to you go to FX. Go to tint. And this should put a color in it. And there you go. Boom. Um usually I put the uh, luminosity on 95 because I don't know, I just want darker text. That's me. But you know, if you guys want lighter, um I'll I suggest going to this click that and then go to brightness and contrast and then and then pull the brightness to I don't know as much as you like I guess you can go to 41 or 63 but I guess I'll do it for, for the lulls so we'll do 25 or yeah, 25 which should be better there you go press check go to FX again and go to tint and then yeah and also you can press this circle thing tap on it Put your color that you want in, but I'm us but I like green, so yeah, we're we're doing we're doing green, boys. Okay, don't judge me. It, it it's it's how people do. Actually, you know, we'll leave it like that. There you go. Cool. All right. There you go. So there's your gradient text. Look how cool is that. So next, don't click anything. Oh yeah. By the way, if you tap on your um blank canvas, it will remove the select pixel. But if that happened, just go back and then select pixels again. And that should hopefully bring you back. So now we go to make sure that you highlighted layer 2. And then you go to end. Then you go fill and stroke. Then go to stroke. And then leave the color white. Go with the width 5. I usually go with 4, but I'll go with 5 this time for you guys. So, And then you press check. You go to the um, pen or pencil extract and that should remove the um the white like the whole white thing and leaving it like a little bit you know just cutting it pretty much and then you go overlay and ba and there you go and that should give you that line of in the text which is amazing as i say but i'm i'm going to be kind of duplicating it or as I say, putting more effects to it. So you click FX, Gaussian Blur, 
and then you go to so as you can see it kind of removed the um the lines at the sides but don't worry it's blending in the text so we'll put it on five so you can still see there you go and you can see like that little invisible lines in there and there you go so you go to the to another empty layer and then go do the stroke again you can do that twice but the first one you have to put like a gaussian blur to it if you want to make it better but you know i suggest doing it by yourself because we all have different design outlet um anyway put in a five press check click that extract and then the last one overlay boom there you have it our first text is done so now we have to move on to the uh to the other one but um i suggest um you know probably hiding the text for now by clicking that white thing and then go merge this up together by clicking the double layer thing and then click the down that merge visible and that should hopefully combine them together and then now they'll stay there forever Bind them together so in order to do that you must probably first you know do what I do by you know just you know just messing around with it you know putting them in the right place uh, probably like that there you go just press this if you want to you know move it around or something then click this again and merge them together there you go now we're now we're doing the next part. It's a little bit hard, but I guess you know just follow it. So now we duplicate one layer of this by you know just as I said I did that. Anyway, click to the last one. Go to brightness and contrast, and then and then lower the brightness to 100% minus 100%, and that should make it black. There you go. Select pixels. You have to drag to the top of the top. Still in stroke, but this time we're gonna we're gonna use well we're still gonna be using stroke, but we're gonna be using a different color. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be using the color black mess with the width. So this is pretty much um where I start to like, you know find something that I like that could highlight everything. 36. I think we'll go with 35. 35 should be better. Yeah, 35 is better. There you go. And now that's your, um, that's your lines. And if there's, like, a hole like this, all you have to do is just, you know, the same thing. Drag the, um, drag the box to where the hole is. Remember, you still need to be on the, the second layer at the bottom. And then go here. Fill in stroke. Boom. There you go. So now that we have that, now we have to do the white one for the outside. So all you have to do again, select pixels. And then I think this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Inverse. Deselect by tapping. Then you go fill in stroke again. Stroke. Bing bada boom. The color white. There you go. So now you have to, so now you can see like the white lines at the side. So now I think you have to mess it around again. Hmm, probably go with five, I guess. There you go. We'll go with white. There you go. Now go to FX and put a glow. Change the color to black, so it'll give like you know a shadow effect at the bottom, and then go to 75 intensity of 75. 
make the blur to 25, I guess. At 25. There you go. And bam. Now if you want to just combine them together, as I said, go do that. Merge visible, and that should combine them together. And there you go. There's your text. But this is not we're not done yet. I want to put like, you know, a glowing thing on the text, which I usually do a lot. But for now, we're going to just put, like, you know, a simple, I guess, background to it. So, I'm going to go to that. You can put any background to it, whatever you want. But I'm going to be doing my own. So, we're going to put a random background so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, fun fact, this is the, uh, the thumbnail background. But I guess no one really cares about it. Oh, oops, that's a huge zoom right there. Right there. Drag this to the very top. Bada -bing, bada boom. There you go. Now you can see you, know, you can see some dark thing at the bottom. There you go. It like blends it in. Alright. So now you go scroll to this paintbrush tool and then go to the spray tool. Alright, so you need to make an empty layer. Find the color, which is I already put green. And then, like, just, you know, fill the line, well, the text with this. There you go. Or if it's not enough, you can just do it again. Alright, there you go. Alright, there you go. And then now, you go change the color. Hold it, and then find the color that you want, or you can just pick on that. Tap, hold this, you know, fill fill the inside of it, and, no, actually, that's, that is way, alright. And then, click this, go to Linear Dodge. And there you go. Boom. That's how you make a glowing text. Right there. That's how you make a good all looking 2D text with a thumbnail already. But yeah, if you want to do more tutorials or more of these, leave a comment down below and subscribe. And I guess leave a like, I guess, again. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.